Hello Paris kids, hope you've all had a lovely week. This week's Bible character is John the Baptist. He was Jesus' cousin and you can read about him in Matthew 3. And in Matthew 3 we read that John's clothes were woven from coarse camel hair and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food he ate locusts and wild honey. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried eating any insects before. Um, but it says in the passage that John liked to eat locusts. Um, this is how Ethan and I imagined it went down. Last night on I Am A Celebrity, the viewers voted for John the Baptist to take part in tonight's Bush Tucker trial. So, John, we've got a super trial lined up for you tonight. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling very confident about this one. Yeah, I eat locusts all the time. Oh, that is super how that is, because your first trial is just that, to eat three locusts. Three locusts is easy. Easy. Yeah, did it. Super job, John. You've won three stars for camp. Tune in tomorrow night to see John the Baptist Prepare the way for Jesus. Can he win the stars for camp? Or will he come back home empty handed? Hey everyone, I'm doing this week's Way to Pray. And I really wanted to do something that I've been trying out myself recently called Eucharistio. Now, you might be wondering what that is because it's a big, long, complicated sounding word. So let me show you. So essentially, what Eucharistio is, is writing a list of everything you're grateful to God for. And it can be anything from having a nice cup of tea to the fact that he died for me and that he's forgiven my sins. So let me just quickly show you how I did this. Now I know some people prefer using pictures rather than words, so I've tried to do that a bit here to demonstrate that you can do that too. So if you want to use pictures, use pictures by all means. Now, it might be quite self-explanatory to how I did it. I stuck a title on the top of a piece of paper in my notebook, and then I just started writing down the, down the page. And that's all you're going to do. Find a few pieces of paper, find an old notebook or something like that. And then just start writing all of the things you're grateful to God about. But make sure to number them. That's the key bit. Just like keeping count of everything you're grateful to God for. And so, here's my challenge to you guys. I want to see if you guys, in a week, can write a hundred things that you're grateful to God for. And I want to know them all. So when you have your 100 things, like send an email to me or something like that. I'll get your parents too. I would love to see them. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy this. See ya.